hello, 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 hello. Um, I'm back. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I have a ruck march tomorrow. And I know some of you fools do not know how to pack a ruck properly. Granted, I'm only a PFC, very limited experience packing rucks, you know, just like just doing the normal army shit. I know I need to get a haircut. My hair's long as shit. Leave me the fuck alone. Um, but, you know, I also just did a live stream. I will plot my little Twitch name down there, maybe a link to it or something in the description. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to teach you guys how to pack a ruck. Uh, I, so, yeah, rucks are cool. Before any ruck march, you should always understand what you're going to be wearing for it and do a nice little layout for me. It's my OCP camouflage full battle dress uniform. Great t-shirt, socks. I don't know what socks I'm wearing yet because green and black are authorized for the army. But make sure you have everything laid out properly and how you need it. My pants underneath here. But everything is right here, ready for me to go. And it makes it really easy for whenever you're ready to do ruck march in the army. Oh, I almost forgot to show. Make sure you have your fucking boots too, dude. The next thing that you're going to want to lay out is going to be all of your gear, right? If you don't have your gear laid out and you don't know exactly what to pack, there's always going to be a list. Always, always, always going to be a list. For me, it is all my J-list gear, my gloves, boots, top, bottom, and ventilator mask. And I'm also supposed to have a C-burn mask, but I don't have a pro mask yet because just haven't been issued one. That's a company level thing, not a division level thing. Next is going to be your CIF issued IOTV. Plates are going to be installed. They're just right here off to the side because I just got them. Like, this is how new they are. They still have like that little styrofoam protection and the ACH, right? So this is all what's required for me on my rucksack to make it about 35 to 45 pounds right around there. And as long as you can maintain the weight, the proper weight, you should be good. But I always recommend pack what they tell you. You stay out of trouble. I was going to wish I had the GoPro and I'd do like a headband mount or a chest mount or something so you guys can physically see. So it's going to be like a weird little time lapse. You're probably going to see me putting everything together. Um, and I also forgot to show you the rock. This is a rucksack, right? Also, this is going to be my water source. Ignore my mess. That's everything that I pulled out of this rock because I just got issued it and didn't take everything out yet. So that's all that stuff over there. Ignore that. Rucksack. With the rucksack, make everything as high and as close to the back as you can. Right? They even have like this little shelf on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see it. But there's a little shelf that you can pull up and zip together on the other side. And create a shelf to lift it and make it tighter against your back. This will help prevent your hip issues, your back issues, and overall make your rucking last a lot longer. Whenever you're installing your pleats, you want to make sure that, that there's a specific way to install them too. You don't just shove them up in the first available spot because it won't hold. It'll fall out and make it very uncomfortable. There is a specially designed pocket for your pleats to slide into. Velcro up and over. And when it slides down, because it's going to have to, this catches it and keeps it kind of locked in place, pinched very nice and tight and snug. So keeping everything tight, snug, and your weight unmovable, especially heavier weights like your plates not moving is important for your safety now i know this looks kind of crazy but this is i know i'm not wearing it properly because i'm just going to take it off i might even take it off on video but you want to make sure like your iotv is snug because especially on rock marches and then when you're in a hazardous duty zone shit could pop off it's got to be ready too so making sure all your gears prepped is tie up there obviously i'm not wearing it i'm not going to throw my rink up here or my name tapes up here but this is how you properly wear it it should feel like a struggle to breathe it should be tight but this thing alone weighs like oh like over half your weight the rest of the stuff is just cherry on top this is where all your weight is on your rough marches your military standard rough marches <laughs> you are about ready to pack your IUTV into your ruck you want to get it laid out nice and tight all set up and then the key thing is that you want to create this pocket this is and you're going to end up putting it in upside down so we can shove stuff in here and maximize your space i'm going to figure out the exact layout that i want to do i'm probably going to do ach followed by the the lighter stuff here throw it in and then my water source is going to lay right on top and then ach is going to be like right underneath my water source that's the layout I'm thinking is probably gonna work out okay. Then with all my gear packed into my nice tightly 
like tightly packed IOTV. I'm gonna end up slipping it into my large rook. Um, and I might try and, uh, I think that this is just a little bit too big to just put it in the shelf, but I'm gonna try and we'll go from there. You say you don't love me no more. Why you hate me, why you touch my soul? Blame me for what I never did. I just want your love, yes, I'm ready. I will win your heart back if you let me. Love too good to forget me. You got me going insane. Got me waiting in vain. Yeah, yeah. I've been fighting for y'all. Well, that kind of sucked. That shit's heavy. <laughs> Very heavy. Um, it's just bulky and awkward. Um, but I got it tight in there. We're going to go from there. See how it works. So, I know that this is kind of like an awkward angle for you and me. Um, but I kind of want to just point out a few things. You have your upper flap straps, right? And we're gonna make sure this thing is tighter than a nun's asshole. Okay, um, so that's kind of kind of be the key thing. You're gonna see me move this thing around a lot. You're gonna you're gonna see me move it around a lot, throw it, flip it. Maybe even look like I'm breaking it, but it's all. Here to the bust out aqua, cutting through after all black master. Now I'm too grown for acting gaffer, trying to pay off my Madre's gaff cut. Took the wife and there's a rotty that's beak. Add the spice to color rubber that's me. My advice off the order I seen. Christ alone, he don't promise you. It really doesn't take that long to pack a rock and make it look good. What does take long though is uh controlling all of these like loose loose flaps and shit. But that's easy. You just get tape and tape it. But me, I don't have tape. So uh it's just gonna be a nice little squid tomorrow. It's okay. It's the only time my buddy Freddy can call me a squid though. Love you, Freddy. So now when wearing your rook, oh wait, there's, get it on your back. Doesn't matter how you get it on your back. You could have a battle help you, you can have anyone you want help you, right? And then if you feel like this ain't, this ain't good enough, pull it, right? I never recommend anyone to use this chest strap. For one, I'm very big chested, and I know that this is probably terrible lighting. I'm big chested. If I throw this thing on and tighten it, limits my breathing. Like it looks like I have boobs. Terrible. Same thing with the hip one, puts all my weight, all the weight on my hips, and I don't want hip injuries. The easiest thing you can do, relax your arms, let them go numb. If we'll go numb after like 10 minutes, and just walk. Just walk. But like I can jump. This thing ain't moving. It's moving with me. Cause it's tight. Key thing is tight. You have a fucking tight ruck, you win. Probably gonna shower, then do an outro. Where's the, right there. Gonna shower, do an outro, so you'll see guys see me. Probably my PJs, dude. PJs are so comfortable. Hi, hello, again. Um, I'm back, I guess I'm doing an outro. So you guys saw me pack a rug and then get in the shower. No, I'm clean-ish. No, I'm clean, dude. I wiped every square inch of my body. But I kind of just wanted to lay that out there. Whenever you're packing a ruck, it's very important for whenever you are packing a ruck, make it tight. Make it as tight as possible. Like tight as a nun's asshole, like no joke. You want that shit tight. If you make it tight, like your weight's not moving, your back's not suffering, you're doing good. As long as you can just keep moving your feet one in front of the other, you're chilling. But yeah, I'm going to try and see what I can do about um, trying to learn something new with editing every single time. If you guys want me to try and learn something, drop a video down there, dude. I'm more than willing to, like, leave a video. Or, like, if you guys leave a video, I'm more than willing to watch it. Like, and I get, like, if this thing gets a million views and there are 100,000 comments, that's a lot of fucking time to watch videos in this top rated videos like if you guys see a video and you want me to learn how to do something on there i'll do it I'll, I'll try and i'll try and incorporate it into how i do my stuff so this one i am going to try and do a time lapse um and i guess i'm going to try and throw up a picture like right here somewhere 
somewhere right here. But so if I get a picture right here, it's probably just gonna stay there. Uh, Cause I figured out how to do it. It's, it's kind of cool. Um, and then for my thumbnail, I don't know. I need to figure out how to get better at doing thumbnails because people like base what they click off of what they see. So I gotta make it as clickbait as possible. You didn't hear from me though. Ah, oh, damn it.